Welcome to the Product Business Podcast. This is your number one podcast for the tips, actions, and insights to make more money from your products while enjoying your life. I'm your host, Amy Wenslow. Let's dive right in. Hello, everyone. I want to talk today with you about what is slowing your business down from those exponential results you want, from the really big growth, the really dynamic results. And it's frequently not what you think it is. A lot of times it's just what I call operational drag. And what does that mean? That means all those little occurrences that could be handled with more grace, more ease, and frankly, a lot more fun if you just used a different tool for handling them. So I'll give you an example from my personal life. Now, I live outside Los Angeles with my husband and and our lovely dog. And down in the city, we have a dishwasher at the house there. And the dishwasher would get loaded very regularly. It It wasn't a problem. And it would just kind of an autopilot, everybody sort of loaded dishes as they went and it was good, right? Now, at our place in the mountains up near the ski resort, we do not have a dishwasher yet. We haven't redone the house yet and we're in the process, but so there's no dishwasher. And it was making Jeff a little crazy that the dishes would accumulate over the course of the day. And I had to kind of ask myself, why was I resisting just washing up as I went, right? I'd been in that habit in the other situation, in the other environment. Why was it different? Well, when I thought about it, I went, I don't like touching the dirty sponge that's wet and cold and clammy that's been sitting in the sink. It just, I don't like it. And so I would just kind of put that off, right? Now, And when I thought about that and realized it about a week ago that that's some of what was going on, I went, oh, well, I just need to go get one of those sponge soap dispensers, right? It's got a handle and you put the soap in the handle and then it's got a sponge on the end and it makes it really easy to just wash up as you go. And so within about a day or three days or so, we had one of those soap dispenser sponges. And all of a sudden, the dishes were done regularly, ongoingly, and, you know, obviously we deep clean and things. But, you know, the daily maintenance was getting done super easy. It was effortless. And I found myself just cleaning up as I went, right? Now, I got to thinking about that. Why was that so different? Well, When I realized the resistance, I went and I got the right tool for me to find it easier, faster, more pleasurable, and make it seamless. And so many times in our businesses, we don't do that. As entrepreneurs and as business owners, it's our job to make things as smooth as we can, but we don't always do it. For example, I was working with someone uh, just the other day on her sales page. She was asking why it wasn't converting and what should she do and should she split test this and, you know, she was going to change the whole offer. And I went, no, 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 we need to back away. And if you listened to episode 39 of this podcast, you'll have heard me talk about split testing and some of my views on that and how to do it and how to get started. So I said, no, you need to do this. Don't scrap the whole offer yet. You actually don't have valid information. So let's get that and let's make these changes and test that for a day or two and see if that improves your results, right? So her, she was so in it, she couldn't see what was really obvious from the outside, right? What was really obvious because I've done it before. And this is the same exact thing that I was talking with one of our other clients about. He's a very successful businessman out of Las Vegas. And I mentioned this story in this case study in our book, Turn Products into Profits, because it's such a beautiful example of perspective. Because one of the things that you have to understand as a business person, and if even if you're just getting started out, that you are always paying for the results that you're having. You're always paying for them. You're either paying with your time 
and your energy and your effort or you're paying with your money or you're paying with both. And do not kid yourself that you are not doing that. Time is actually one of the most expensive currencies that you can pay for things with. And that means when you are taking it on to learn and, and get experience, it is very expensive because you don't have much velocity, you don't have much leverage on your time. Okay, it's a very, very important distinction. So I was talking with our client in Las Vegas and was mentioning to him that I was a little curious why he hired us, right? He, he had a company that was already doing significant business. It was doing about 17 million a year, which is pretty dang good by most people's standards. And he told me why he um, was calling us and it was they had lost some money on a launch. And the, the, you know, it was a significant piece of money. And he had seen my name in Entrepreneur Magazine in an article there. And it was all about product development and how to do it really well and how to structure product businesses. It was a really great seven page article. If you're interested, we'll be happy to post a link in the description of the show and you can go read it. He got chills when he read the article and he realized some of the mistakes that they had made. And he called me in to have a full meeting with his team his executive team. And we were talking about their goals and about the process. And I got very, very clear in that moment why he was hiring us. It's because he knew the value of his time and his team's time. And he wanted to create something different. And he wanted to do it with way more grace. And it was a beautiful moment because they ended up, um, $5 $5 million over their sales projection for the year, a mere four months later. So he understood the value of the time that it would take his team to figure things out versus getting some expertise and guidance. So today, my thought for you is this. I want you to look at your business and where are you suffering with a problem that you could probably solve a lot faster by getting expertise and by getting um, someone who's done it before, whether it's us, whether it's somebody else. I'm so not attached. I want you to start looking at what are the problems that are creating friction in your business and solve them. That doesn't mean that you are the solver or you are the solution. It means that you find the solution. It's a very, very different distinction. So when you are creating a business, it is about creating a business, not more things for you to be the one personally doing. So with that, everyone, we'll be back tomorrow with the next episode. Please, I'm so excited to say that we are having a massive growth spike with the podcast. I would love your support. Listen to the previous episodes. There is absolute um, value for you. And I'm so grateful. We have people that are listening to like 30 episodes at a time, which is extraordinary to me. So go back, listen to previous episodes, tune in for the next ones. And please share the podcast out so that we can make the biggest impact with the most businesses and unleash people's creativity on the planet. That is my goal with this. If you're interested in getting a free digital download copy of the book, you can do that. There is a link below, but you can also go to turnproductsintoprofits.com turn products into profits.com. It is a limited time offer. They will be going away um, at some point in the not too distant future. With that, everyone have a blessed rest of your day.